Today we're going to learn how local storage in HTML5 works. According to its API, we have three main methods called getItem, setItem and removeItem. Let's do some stuff with this. I'll start creating an input field called text field. And a button labeled with save. Let's see. All right, here they are. Now let's do some stuff with the local storage. I'll start adding an action for this button by creating a JavaScript function called save. Let's start creating our JavaScript code here. It's part of the HTML API. Creating the function save. All right. First of all, let's, let's get the text field value. And start it in the variable field value. We can get its value by calling the document get element by id text field dot value. Here we have the value. And now start with the new local start object with the method set item. Here we are creating an item with the key text and the value, the variable field value, the field content. Now let's test it. Test. All right. How to check if it if it works? We have a code inspector here. I'm using Google Chrome, and in the resources tab, local storage, we have the entry text we've already created. Note this is the scope of my local files. Each website has its own scope. Call it the domain. Its own domain. All right, now let's retrieve the value back when the document loads by creating a function called load. Let's try to get the local storage item back. Storage value equals local storage dot get item and we pass our key text. Note that if the key text doesn't exist in the local storage, we have stored value undefined. So let's do a little verification to see if stored value is undefined or not, just by testing here inside this if statement. Now let's assign this value in the input text code. We can simply copy this code here and assign the stored value. Okay, when the document loads, call the function load. Let's test. All right, here it is. I'm create a new text and save it. It's saved, okay? Now I'm, I'll close my browser and reopen the document. And voila, the value is here. 
Now let's try to remove the local storage entry. I'll create a button here, label it with remove and a function remove. Remove here. Let's first of all let's empty this field, this text field here. We can easily do this assigning an empty string to it and effectively remove the entry from the local storage passing its key text. Now let's test if it works. Here I have a remove button. I empty the field. Let's check. Oh, it isn't hit isn't here anymore. Let me test with another variable here. Testing again. Refresh here. Testing again is here. Let me close the browser. Reopen the document. It's testing again now. Let's remove it. It isn't here anymore. Alright, that's it.